if I'm being honest, I really love she doesn't want us joining in this video today and her modesty is on show. Venus, please sit down. See, Venus is my sort of drama queen sort of doll as well, so um Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've been posting but with the lockdown at the moment I have not had a lot of money for dolls and I thought what can I do because we need to keep this channel alive and going. So I thought why don't I start doing collection videos um, and this was the first one that came to mind and this is my pull-up doll collection. So I got back, in, I got into pull-ups around 2005, I think. Um, so a lot of my pull-up dolls are type two bodies, which in my opinion are the ones with more sort of character to them. And um, yeah, they just, they just ooze character for me, you know? Um, I do have one of the latest, newest ones, which I think was from last year. Um, and I can't really pronounce a lot of their names, but this one begins with E. Um, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not gonna try and embarrass myself. But anyway, um, and I'm sure I renamed her, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think I called her Rosalina, because she reminds me of Rosalina from Mario. So anyway, so this is my um, kind of like first ever like new doll, and I was gonna start getting back into them. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but when I noticed the um, collection was getting bigger, I decided that maybe it's probably not the best idea um, to be adding more to, to my collection of growing dolls, which you know you have seen the room. So at the moment, I'm currently stopping um, on pull-ups and these are the ones I've got. So I'm just gonna go through them. So anyway, like I said, this one is um, my newest one. Um, I picked her because to be like my first new one again because I like the white hair um, I like the colour blue, blue is my favourite colour um, and I like the ice queeny sort of look um, and I also love dolls with white hair um, and she's even got like a streak so if I just take this coat off which it did come with a little wrap around um, like thing for the neck but it you know it wasn't very strong and it kind of broke so you've got to be careful with these but I know that you can wear them inside out as well if you wanted to so you could put her on like that and then the blue would be that way so anyway so here she is this is her like blue purpley sort of streak she's got running through her hair if you can see that I don't know if you can see it but anyway that's on that side. I don't think she's got another one, has she? Oh, yeah, she does. She's got another one, and this one's kind of purple. So, yeah, she kind of has um, a couple of different colours in her hair, which match her dress. Um, I also like the little mermaid dress she's got going on here. Um, and her wig is gorgeous as well. And obviously with these ones, um, the only thing I did like about the new ones, compared to the old ones, was that when you close their eyes... So she's terrible at standing on her stand. Let me just pop her off a sec. This one. I think it's because I've got no shoes on her at the moment. Um, so anyway, this one, um, the new one, sorry, when you close their eyes. I haven't closed it for a while because they've been on display. But hang on. Let me get this right so I can show you. I think if I remember, it's like they get two sort of Ah, that's it. So they get two um, two <laughs> functions of the eyes these, um, in these new dolls. So the first function just gives them sort of a lid, um, which is barely noticeable. Um, and then obviously if you push the button up a little bit and then pop it in, there we are. She can completely close her eyes and they stay closed, which that's probably my only sort of thing that I like about the new ones but the bodies are just not really that poseable um, they're kind of lifelike and a little bit um, monster high sort of thing I think because they're yeah they're very tiny everything's a bit smaller but anyway so that is her I'm just gonna pop her back on the stand 
But anyway, um, I do like her and um, her wig's gorgeous as well. So if we just pop this on, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> stay. So she needs some shoes because she's not gonna stay on her stand otherwise. Anyway, that's her. So anyway, these are my, sorry Venus, type two girls. Um, so I have a lot of favorites here. So, I don't think she's gonna sit up. Um, so here is my first one. And this is Mitzi, and she was um, a limited edition. Um, I'm not sure if this is correct, but I think she was a limited edition for like a Toys R Us in Japan, I think. Um, but anyway, I'm really lucky to own her. Um, another thing I should mention as well, I had some of these dolls before and I've had to rebuy them. Um, I'll get to that in a sec. But anyway, this one is someone I didn't have um, back in 2005. Um, because she was very rare and, excuse me, she was very rare and she sold out. So um, I do, ha I had her brand new in bulk. She does have her little cat, which I've got as well. Um, she comes with everything that she would have came with brand new. Um, she's got a little bit of melt, I think, on here, which these bodies do have that sometimes. Um, but again, they're more poseable, I think, you know, than these ones. I don't think she can do that. Okay, she can a little bit. She can swivel from side to side, but I mean, these ones can go quite far down as well. So do you see what I mean? They've got more like of a, a skeletal sort of body. But yeah, um, their eyes obviously don't close completely um, um, without the help of s sticky tape, I think I used to use. But I still love Mitzi. Um, she's really cute and she's, I just love her bright orange hair. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is this one, which her original name is called Asa, I think that is how you pronounce it. Oh, Asa, um, I'm not really sure, because um, their names are weird. Now, this one wouldn't normally be one of my favourite sort of characters, um, because she's a little bit more tomboy, um, which I'm not usually, I usually go for more like girly sort of dolls, but if I'm being honest, I really love doesn't want us to join in this video today and her modesty is on show. Venus please sit down. See Venus is my sort of drama queen sort of doll as well so um, yeah she likes to be centre of attention. We've talked about you a few more times now. Okay right so back to this one. Now this one I've named Tammy because she looks like a Tammy because she's kind of I think she's like kind of chilled out. Um, also, it is debatable whether she is um, gay. So I kind of like that about her, so obviously I am. Um, and yeah, I love them. My main favorite thing about her is her dreads. I mean, they are gorgeous. They never get messy, they don't get tangled. Um, I also had this one back in 2005 when she first came out. She's probably one of the first pull-ups I, I own, so that's why she also holds a special place for me. Um, I love everything about her. I love her little um, overalls um, and underneath she's got like another top and then underneath that she's got like a yellow crop top. <coughs> I even love her headphones and one of my favourite parts about her is the badges. They're so cool. I love the queer badge. Anyway, so that is her. Oh and also I did change her shoes because the ones she came with were similar but um, the ones she came with were plastic and they were really difficult to get on and off, so you have to cut the backs to get the shoe off, otherwise the foot just comes out. So I've got these little like material ones, which are absolutely gorgeous, and I love them. So that is her. Um, let me just sit her down. I always sit this one down. She does have a stand, but I just think she looks so cute sitting down. That's that one. Okay, so this is my... Um, I can't remember this one's original name, but I call her Veronica because she just reminds me of a Veronica. Um, this one, um, it's probably not what my absolute favourite, but the thing I do like about her is she's got like these dark circles around her eyes, which makes her look a little bit sinister. Um, so 
that's why I like her. And the fact that she looks sinister and she like has this like great big gown and she comes with a bottle of wine. She's like a, a desperate housewife sort of thing, you know, um, who's gonna take revenge on her husband or something. So, you know, she comes even with like the great big gown, you know, I don't know if it's a, a going out gown or more of an inside posh dressing gown. Um, but I did change her to a more sort of black sort of thing. Um, you know, I do like the red on her, but um, I just feel like with her colouring, she does suit it. Um, I also straightened her wig with a boil wash because it was a bit of a mess. Um, and I did also have this one um, a while ago. And now she is back with me again. I was lucky to get hold of some of these rare dolls in <clears throat> never removed from box condition. Um, another thing I love about this one is her earrings. There we go. I'm just wondering actually if her name is actually Veronica. I can't remember. I call her Veronica but she just, yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, I think she's called Vivian. That's her real name. Yeah, that's why they're quite similar. But yeah. But anyway, that is her. And like I said, she does come with a lot of other bits and I did get a brand new. Um, she's got a little bit of staining on her legs, which probably can come off of a damp cloth or something. Okay, so my next one is completely out of her original outfit, which um, I do still have the actual dinosaur outfit, but I popped her into this little outfit once and I just never took her out of it because I think she looks super sexy, cute sort of thing. So this is Paja and she is also from 2005 and I did have her as original but my original her head came off which was really really disappointing um, but it wasn't too bad because then I got to buy I got to experience the rebodying thing and I rebodied her um, but now I've got back my original so she's got the type 2 body this one's wig is amazing it's so soft and um, really really long and yeah, the colour as well as like a light blonde and um, she's obviously got the green eyes and yeah, like I said, I popped her into this sort of playboy bunny outfit because she just looked really hot, really sexy in it um, and I think she looks wicked with these, I think they are um, Integrity Dolls shoes from my Gem Doll line um, and they actually fit pull-ups really well with type 2 bodies. So um, yeah, when I put her in this, I was like, she's staying in this outfit now. So yeah, she's another one of my little cuties that I really, really love. Okay, so moving on to probably my favorite um, pull-up, um, which I have kept um, from the original days of buying these dolls. Um, let's get rid of the bunny. So, obviously, as you probably have guessed, if you've been watching my channel, you know Alice is my favourite Disney character. Um, and I think seeing Alice was the character that got me into pull-up collecting in the first place. So, um, originally, I missed out on getting Alice. Um, she was sold out and I never managed to get her. So, I was a bit disappointed. And then, a few years later, um, I had her for Christmas. Um, I found her for a really good price, you know, um, a few years later, and she's never left my collection since. Um, so I'm just combing through her hair a little bit. Um, but yeah, she um, she's, could, could do with a little clean up. Um, she is kind of quite a few years old now. Um, but yeah, she's still here in my collection and absolutely love her. I think the back of her um, apron string is completely come off, which could be easily fixed with, you know, some new material, just to pull that back a little bit. Um, and then she's got her white rabbit bunny, which she still has, I think I've still got her original box as well, with her card, because obviously all the pull-up dolls used to come with, like, play cards. So that is my fantastic Alice. So I'm just gonna pop her on this side. Okay, so last but not least is my queen of the pull-up dolls. Um, so this is Venus, uh, which I named her Francesca. She was my first ever um, pull-up doll when they first came out. Out of all of them, she was the one that I felt the most drawn to. 
um, because she's got like a Paris Hilton sort of look to her. Um, this is also my second Venus doll. Um, okay, so with, there's obviously there was a lot of backlash when Venus came out. She was the first one to have a type two body which obviously the type 2 bodies got a lot of it, a lot of stick at the beginning because of their flimsiness which they managed to fix with the other dolls but Venus always had a really floppy floppy sort of body um, which no one really wanted and passed up on her but her actual you know face herself she's definitely you know I would say one of my fa more favourites um, the hair quality is not the best um, I tend not to brush it because it just turns into a great big, like, ball of hair. It can get really tangly. Um, it's not the best quality wig. Um, I have thought about re-wigging re her and just, like, shaving off her head and then popping on a really nice, silky, long wig, which might be something I do eventually um, because it also makes her head really, really, really heavy. Um, I also did rebody my Venus onto a uh, made to move Barbie body, um, which I do love the made to move made to move bodies. They are really really poseable, really 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 good. Um, but I lost one of the um, screws for a head, so it's not on brilliantly um i don't really handle this one very often because you know she is quite fragile actually um and her head you know it does move side to side but i, I tend not to try and move her too much um but again you know i've kept her um because she's still one of my one of my favorite favorite pillow dolls um as yeah i love this one yeah. So, oh. anyway, um, but usually I do sit her down on this little stool, um, just because if I remember, I don't think Venus came with a stand. Um, I do have her original outfit, I think, um, up, up in my little dolly wardrobe, um, in boxes. <laughs> but, um, let's pop her there just to keep her up. But, um, yeah, so I do like her original outfit, but sometimes it's nice just to change this one up a little bit. Um, she just, I feel like she does definitely feel like the need to change up a little bit. <laughs> anyway guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed my review on my Pullet Doll collection. Um, there is a few that I would like to see, maybe one day, but it's just space, really. Um, I'd love to see Panda. Pullet Panda is also one of my faves um, that I used to have. Um, she's super cute with the pink hair. Um, and also another one I'd really like to see is um, to have back is Anne Shirley. Um, I also had Anne Shirley back in the day and sold them on, which, yeah, I had loads of polyps back in the day. But anyway, guys, this is my review. Thank you very much for watching.